welcome to the Wooden Canal Boat Society's Heritage Boatyard on Old Street Staley Bridge. We start off at the front with our garden. This garden was designed and set up by one of our volunteers called Kate Booth some years ago. And uh, there's now somebody who comes in every now and then and does a little bit of weeding. Uh, but really, it needs somebody to take charge of it a little bit and uh, improve it even more. At the moment it's quite nice. We had a big cutback of it last year and this autumn 2016 we can have another little cutback and remove some things like for example this ash tree here will get planted out and uh, so we'll now hopefully grow into a full size ash because it's in the wrong place here. Here we go through the entrance. <coughs> and again, we need a little bit of help with the garden. Somebody did set up a little bit of a garden here, but unfortunately I haven't had the time to maintain it. So a gardener, volunteer gardener, be very, very welcome. Around here we have Hazel's old rudder, or Helm, and uh, that is for sale on eBay. Uh, as a garden ornament, that's a bit of painting up, but we make a nice garden ornament. Over this way we find a display board. It's uh, got a display of the work that we put in to restore it, to excavate in place. And this was in 2007. Um, quite an amazing task for a bunch of volunteers. We've got the whole boat yard lowered down to near canal level until it was like that, nice and clear and ready to go. And since then we've restored hazel here. <coughs> got lots and lots of useful stuff stored about here. It may look like chaos to some people, but um, it's actually very important stuff. For example, on top of the containers here, you can see some guard irons, guard irons which are rubbing strokes for narrow boats. Um, it's like hen's teeth getting hold of a decent guard iron nowadays, so there's all kinds of bits there which we'll find useful. This uh, needs a bit of finishing at the end. This is the wood store, which is where we keep all our timber, well, as much as we can get in there anyway, nicely stacked in the dry to. Um, keep it in good order for when, when we need it. And in here you see some planks that are left over from Hazel, which hopefully will get used on other boats. And then above them, there's more wood that will be used for cabin building and fitting out. At the bottom, a scene of chaos, because there's all sorts of wood shoved in there that we haven't had a chance to sort out yet. And that's the main job at the moment of the boatyard, is sorting out. Uh, down on the Around here you see a fender that's been prepared for forget-me-not, so that will be going on soon. Uh, the old rudder off Gertrude, which we recovered some parts from. A wheelchair lift that was donated uh, from a community boat that had sunk, but uh, we didn't actually use that because we were given a better one. It's for you, some hazel, so that will be up for sale soon. <coughs> The wood store carries on, that's all got to be sorted out, reorganised and um, put into order. And then this, this little con conglomeration here is stuff that we don't need and it's waiting for being put online um, to be sold, mostly on eBay. <coughs> Around here we see the engineering department and tool store. Um, again, um, a lot of sorting out needed, and we also need somebody with some engineering skills to sort out uh, the gearbox for Southam, which is down there. We've also got a spare PRM gearbox there, which uh, needs a little bit of attention. It's almost brand new, in fact. 
Um, anything in here that we find that we don't need will again be listed online and sold. It's amazing what we can sell. I don't believe in waste in this place. Uh, under the tarpaulins are some more piles of wood that are waiting to be sorted. And then that van roof rack uh, has been sold on eBay but the guy didn't pay for it. So um, it's sort of uh, back to square one I think with that one. Over here we have lots of metal lying on the ground all sorted into widths and that is being used to complete the ballasting of hazel uh, she still needs some ballast at the fore end uh, and we can get free supply of this stuff so we might as well make use of it uh, going back to hazel on the roof up there you can just see some wood and that is <coughs> planks uh, from hazel that we removed when we restored it and they're gradually being cut into little pieces to be painted up as um, things to sell. Back to that. Take you in here into the middle container which also needs a good sort out. I can show you the sort of thing that I mean. This was one I made earlier. In fact I made that many many years ago for my mother. That's one of the um, to get me that old bottom boards painted in Polesworth style. And so we need more people who are able to do that sort of thing. And it's not that difficult, I'm going to show you how to do it. And so can Maxine, who's our chief boat painter. Over here, pile of crap. Uh, that's waiting to go to the scrap yard as soon as we have another way in. And then we go into the lean to, which uh, you can see there. Um, a gangplank for forget-me-not that uh, Claire's just made and uh, more tools and so on and here we have the pile of little bits of the old hazel awaiting painting so all of this stuff we need volunteers to come and do so just climb up here a little bit and you can see over here some containers with little oak trees in because we use oak uh, to restore boats and one of our commitments is to put back at least as many trees as we use. <coughs> this is the brew hut that uh, Dave and Claire made and there will be a little stove in here and there you see the early stages of the oak trees that um, some acorns put into those containers and uh, they will be growing over the next couple of years and then planted out. There you see some offcuts of wood that we saved for Claire for a wood turn and wood carving she's brilliant at that sort of thing. Um, <coughs> over here, so part of the sorting out, we had a load of um, broken wheelbarrows here. We now ha still have some less than perfect bits of wheelbarrows, but they're what's left over from the ones that we made up from all the parts. So they're actually useful frames that we'll use eventually and then uh, saw horses etc in that corner and swing round here and you can see the water front um, but uh, we have a little problem with the Canal and River Trust at the moment who won't let us tie up here which is very very frustrating because I'd like to bring the boats here to, for the uh, little bits of work to be done on them um, so we'll walk along the front here this is all getting gradually getting sorted out. Um, there's some bits of shafts there which 